All right, here's another continuous ridge line. Again, I have about 30 feet of line. This is a little bit smaller, I think, uh, of line. And this is even simpler and a little bit lighter as well in terms of the hardware. Again, on one end we have the buried loop, the eye splice here. And on the end of that eye splice, I have one of these tiny little Dutch hooks. Can you even see that? That's pretty amazing. Now this eye is, is fairly large. I just created another one. And you can see that the eye is just minuscule. That's how I prefer it. Just a nice short berry and a tiny little eye for for that. But all that this uh continuous ridge line, that's that's the only hardware on this side at the, or that's on the ridge line itself. Just the one uh eye splice with the Dutch hook here and the line. The other end is is just uh you know, there's the other end. That's it. That's the line. Now to make this work, um on one I've got a tarp here. This is a uh, outdoor equipment supplier Matt Cat Deluxe tarp in a double sided stuff sack and on one end so I've got this is the ridge line end of the tarp and I've just got a a small bit of line here that's been prussicked or a lark's head here onto the end so that's one end of the tarp the other end I have this is the other hardware piece uh, this is a Tarp flies from Dutchware again, really cool piece of gear. But for me, you know, I a lot of people put this, uh, and the, it was made designed to have the line feed through those two eye holes. Um, but I like to have this as close to the tarp as possible. So I, I've got here is a little keychain, one of the, a really tough one. I've got some smaller ones that I found, and I'll show you some of those in a little bit. And I've just put that keychain right onto the end here. On the loop of the tarp, you know, or you can put it on the D ring, um, but it, it kind of acts. This is like uh, faking a stingers. Uh, Dutchware also has a stingers, which is essentially the tarp flies, except the, it also has a, a mini carabiner attached to it. This is actually a little bit lighter than the stingers, especially if you, I've got a really tiny uh, keychain ring here, or, or that I, I'll show you that makes it even smaller and lighter than. Uh, the stingers. But this is the adjustable end that allows you to really crank down and get the the continuous ridge line as tight as you need to with that uh, mechanical advantage you can get from that little piece of hardware. So let's go set this one up. All right with this second method using the minimal hardware uh, the, one of the tricks that I found that makes this really easy while the tarp is still stuffed is to take the fixed eye, we're gonna thread it first through the adjustable end, we're gonna thread it through the loop, and then we're gonna thread it through the uh, D-ring here on this other side, just like that. This makes it a lot easier, let's hope. Now here is the adjustable end with the tarp flies. Now again, you could use a stinger 
The nice thing about a Stinger from Dutchware is that it has a carabiner built in. So we can just clip right in to the tarp. And it also makes it a lot easier to clip through the running ridge line. Uh, so uh, deployment is just a little bit quicker. What I want to show you here, which is what's really nice, is that by doing it in this method, the continuous ridge line, you can create the V. This is the V. And you notice that my hammock suspension here, and these are the Eno Atlas straps, are fitting really nice inside, in between the V. That is a very essential, nice hammock expert trick. So that the when you swing around in your hammock, you're not going to hit your tarp. It's not going to move anywhere, which is really nice. But again, that's the adjustable end, tarp fly, and I'm just using the uh, this keychain loop here to make it really easy to attach this tiny, minuscule tarp flies directly to my tarp. And here is the fixed end. You notice right here we've got, uh, this is the eye loop with our tiny little Dutch hardware here. See that? And then we've got that little bit of spacer loop that's connected to the tarp. Again, we've got, oh, but I, I messed up. I've, I've got a V here, but my hammock strap, I, I didn't put it around it like I should have. But uh, in practice, I would put this strap between the V so I wouldn't bang it. But that's really the, the nice thing about this method is that it creates a V so that I can keep my suspension between the V. All right, it's time to pack up. I've uh, already put my tarp away. It's packed up really quick and easy with the double-sided stuff sack, and all I've got left is this tangle of guy line, or I should say, this is my continuous ridge line. When I wrap it up, this is a technique I recently illustrated. Um, I like to start with the fixed end here, where I've got my hardware, and uh, now I'm going to do a little bit different than my illustration, but this is how I actually do it. Uh, it's the same technique. This is the figure eight wrap. I just pinch between my first finger and my thumb the hardware end and then I just start to figure eight around my fingers. And once I've done a couple I can let go and then it wraps up pretty fast. The nice thing about the figure eight wrap and the reason why we do this is that it eliminates tangles, especially on this particular kind of cord, it tends to like to tangle. Uh, and I've got it tangled around my <laughs> tripod here. Uh, uh. Alright, I don't typically have tripods out in the field, so that issue has been fixed. Finish off uh, with the figure eight when I've got about, I don't know, a little over a foot, 18 inches of line left. I just pinch that, take it off my fingers, and with the running line here, just make a few wraps. I catch it with my finger, and then I tuck in this end to create the slippery hitch. Nice and tight, nice and clean. That's ready to go for the next time. Just a little tug here, and that line just falls apart. No tangles.